Prince William and Prince Harry spent such a great deal of time with Princess Diana's lover James Hewitt that they became fond of the army captain, a royal biographer reveals. Princess Diana and Prince Charles had a famously tumultuous marriage which began with their fairy tale wedding in 1986. They separated in 1992 and eventually divorced in 1996 but, before their split, both the Prince and Princess of Wales admitted to infidelity in high-profile biographies and TV appearances. Prince William and Prince Harry became so used to their mother's partner James Hewitt's presence that they developed a fondness for him, a royal biographer writes. Tina Brown, in her 2007 biography The Diana Chronicles, writes, he became such a familiar private guest whenever the prince was away that William and Harry developed a fondness for him. She adds, Hewitt had little army uniforms made for them for their visits to Windsor Barracks. They loved playing on the Highgrove lawn with the army captain and his black Labrador. Sometimes, Ken, Worf and Hewitt would join forces for pillow fights with the boys. Diana's affair with Mr. Hewitt began in 1986, when he was a riding instructor. It ended in 1991 but did not become public knowledge until Hewitt released a book about his relationship with the princess in 1994. When the Labrador ripped up some of Prince Charles' new plantings at Highgrove, she describes how Charles went ballistic but didn't stop Hewitt's visits. Ems Brown continues, Diana told her lover that that her husband knew about the extent of their relationship. Mr. Hewitt told authors Tim Clayton and Phil Craig, in their 2001 book Diana, Story of a Princess that it was a tacit understanding between Diana and Charles that I was part of her life in the same way that Mrs. Parker Bowles was a part of Prince Charles' life. Royal author Katie Nichol, in her 2010 book William and Harry, describes how Diana first met Mr. Hewitt because she wanted to become closer to her husband and young sons who were mad about polo and horses in general. Ems Nichol writes, Diana, had never been a horsewoman but, after seeing how much pleasure it brought her sons, decided to have a go. The handsome Hewitt became her instructor and soon became a regular visitor to Highgrove, where he would help William and Harry improve their trotting and cantering. The staff noticed that, when Charles was away, the dashing officer became a more regular visitor and his arrival was always guaranteed to lift Diana's spirits. In her 1995 Panorama interview, Princess Diana gave her own insight into her feelings for Mr. Hewitt. Questioned on her infidelity with him, Diana said, Yes, I adored him. Yes, I was in love with him, but I was very let down. It is widely believed that the princess was referring to the 1994 book, Princess in Love, which Mr. Hewitt collaborated on beside author Anna Pasternak. In his 1999 autobiography A Love Like No Other, Diana and Me, Mr. Hewitt wrote about how he still loves the late Princess of Wales. He wrote, I loved Diana. I love her still. I feel blessed that she loved me and we were able to enjoy a few short years which reached heights of happiness I have never known before or since. This month, a musical titled Diana opened in the U.S., which features romantic scenes between Mr. Hewitt and the Princess of Wales. Royal author Ingrid Seward described the musical as being in such bad taste that it is best ignored.